This is Platts Lodge in Accrington which played a massive part in the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution saw Accrington grow from a village with 3,000 people in 1801 to a town of 45,000 by 1911. By 1821 Henry Platt was manufacturing cotton spinning machinery in 1854 the company became Platt Brothers and manufactured looms. Platt's Lodge was built before 1848, Accrington's three railway lines to Blackburn, Burnley and Manchester were built in 1848 to 1849. In 1879 Platt's reached peak production but by 1896 faced competition from Globe Works, Howard and Buller, 1853, which became the biggest industrial site in Accrington. The Works Canteen is now the council offices. A new company, Platt's International, was formed in 1970 and Platt Sacco Lowell machines still operate today and there were many employees of the company, a lot of my friends and family worked at that company and it was a huge site. Platts Lodge is an important part of the wildlife corridor associated with Woodnook Water. The lodge is being designated as part of a Woodnook Vale Local Nature Reserve. Thank you. So this is just showing the uh, the lodge and some of the railway stanchions which exist today and you can just see them uh, as they go around the perimeter of the lodge uh, from left to right there. You can just see the size. There was a massive railway terminal And this is the lodge which still is surrounded by a few mills today but there were many more. Right in the centre there, there was a large mill called Woodnut Bleaching uh, which was demolished a few years ago sadly but I used to sell a lot of tooling in that factory and uh, they drain water from a nearby lodge and uh, Priestley Clough which is further up named after the mill owner John Priestley and then next to it was the large uh, factory uh, called Hilden's and that stood for quite a while uh, but this side is Victoria Street in Accrington and there's still some mills which survive there today and uh, there's various factories and uh, they're still working well today so uh, as you can see it's quite a large lodge uh, which helped with supplying some of these local firms in Accrington Everybody, and today right in the centre of Accrington and uh, right in the centre of Lancashire Industrial Revolution and uh, there's still quite a lot of mills left today which are used as offices and behind me is Skatecliff Mill which is used by the council and uh, it was built in 1850 by John and Jonathan Ormrod which is why you've got Ormrod Street and as you can see it's a huge building which produced and manufactured yards and yards of raw cotton and uh, supplied the industry uh, of Accrington and many areas 
uh, but uh, it was a, a cotton and weaving mill and John and Jonathan Ormrod were cotton manufacturers and uh, it was a spinning and weaving mill which uh, unfortunately became closed by the 1970s by the cotton famine Now in 1871 it was purchased by Thomas Howarth of Howarth Park and uh, he did a lot of cotton spinning and manufacturing and he extended it in 1875 and it contained a 36 inch condensing cylinder engine which uh, by the 1880 it had 375 looms and employed 209 people but later by the 1930s it was closed and purchased by Howard and Bullers and Howard and Bullers used it as the works canteen but behind me as you can see this huge mill which is still preserved today has three floors of 12 windows later in the 1980s it was manufacturing household mops by a company called H Mops and uh, they ceased trading in 1984 but by the 1990s it became a snooker hall and contained about 23 snooker tables uh, the company was called Raleigh's and I frequented it very often with some of my friends and uh, it was a very successful snooker hall uh, but by the 2000s uh, it was closed and purchased by Highland Council but it's been restored to this fine example and uh, preserved today and used by the Highland Council uh, which I've decorated it with some of my photographs uh, but this site is right in the centre of the Lancashire Industrial Revolution and uh, it was a hive of activity and uh, as I showed you earlier the railway site was huge across this side and uh, which helped transport quite a lot of the products uh, so it was quite a busy site uh, it was wall to wall with mills they produced fine garments and cotton uh, thank you